NASA's three billion mile journey to Pluto reaches its historic encounter. After a decade long journey through our solar system, NASA's New Horizons has made its approach to Pluto. The sounds you are hearing are those that come from Pluto. And the images you are seeing are from the same planet, or exoplanet, depending on what group you're from. Let's take a ride down and see what it would be like to live on Pluto. New Horizons is showing us its approach to Pluto and Pluto's surface along with its moon, Charon. Flowing ice and surprising extended haze are among the newest discoveries from NASA's New Horizon mission, which revealed distant Pluto to be an icy world of wonders. Sunlight streams through the atmosphere and reveals haze as high as 80 miles, 130 kilometers above Pluto's surface. The hazes detected are a key element in creating the complex hydrocarbon compounds that give Pluto's surface its reddish hue. Models suggest the hazes form when ultraviolet sunlight breaks up methane gas particles, a simple hydrocarbon in Pluto's atmosphere. The breakdown of methane triggers the buildup of more complex hydrocarbon gases. As these hydrocarbons fall to the lower, colder parts of the atmosphere, they condense into ice particles that create the hazes. The New Horizons mission also found evidence of exotic ices flowing across Pluto's surface and revealing signs of recent geological activity. The new images show fascinating details within the Texas-sized plain, informally named Sputnik Planum, which lies within the western half of Pluto's heart-shaped feature, known as Tambo Rio. There is a sheet of ice clearly appears to have flowed and may still be flowing in a manner similar to glaciers on Earth. The new compositional data from New Horizons Ralph instrument indicate the center of Sputnik Planum is rich in nitrogen, carbon monoxide, and methane ices. NASA's New Horizons spacecraft has spotted multiple craters and canyons on Pluto's big moon Charon, including one chasm that appears to be longer and deeper than Arizona's Grand Canyon.